Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. How's everyone doing? Oh, well, my dog's dead. Yeah, your dog died. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie's dog. Uh, yeah. In the ground, or what'd you do with it? A cremation. So she's been burnt. Yeah. She, so you set your dog ablaze. Set her ablaze. Very funny though that on the last weekly episode that we recorded, yeah, because uh, things have been messed up with COVID and blah blah blah. We, uh, I, I said like it's just a dog, Joey. Yeah, yeah. You, two days later. Yeah, two days later. It's fucking cut. Had to, had to burn your shit. Had, she had to go. What? Where'd you put it? Where? Why are we saying it? Oh well, like the the ashes. I meant. Oh well, so it takes two to three weeks. I guess they're behind schedule. They're all backed up on. They're cremations? backed up on burns. Jesus, the, burns, the, the <laughs> cremation supply chain. Hey man, it's falling apart. People are dying left and right. But I, I, well, maybe do they cremate people and animals in the same place? That is a question for a different kind of girl. I would assume that it's a smaller oven. Yeah, like it's less powerful. Are they like you know? I'm picturing like a brick oven. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Like, I, like just yeah, not like a pizza. It's not yeah, like that's... A, it's not like someone's putting their hand in and throwing naan on the fucking wall or something like that. Like it's it's a very it's just like an industrial looking oven. I told you about the story with my uncle, right? Yeah, where they watched the cremation. Yeah, like they they were. I forgot which of my family members. It might have been my grandmother and my uncle. My, like, my dad and my uncles were there, and they were like, all right, like, we're going to put her in. Like, you can watch if you want, but, like, we don't recommend it. And my uncle was like, I'm going to stay. And my, my dad told me this story, so it could be bullshit. Uh, <laughs> and my dad he was wanted, like— He wanted to see the fireworks. My dad was like, Lou, don't fuck it. You don't want to fucking watch. Because apparently—I had to go down a little bit. Yeah, what the fuck? Um, because apparently—and I've heard this, like— they don't like treat the body with like respect. Not that they don't treat it with respect, but like they have a job to do. No, so, they like, torch that shit. So like the most efficient way. So like fucking chuck this thing in and get it going. And my dad said that like my uncle was like, no, I'm going to watch. And he was apparently like traumatized because Whoa. they're just like, okay, they shut this fucking steel door like saw style. Yeah. And just turn the burners on. Yeah. I mean, I mean, how else would you burn the, a body? And then you got family ashes in the air. That's so weird, dude. It, it is a weird like thought but to be honest if i'm gonna pick away that's that's one of them that's up on the the, the list so do you know what's gonna happen to your dog's ashes your mom is probably well, distraught well my mom is very upset obviously yeah. so backstory for those of you guys that don't know it was it was a we got the dog the day before i went away to college and i was replaced with a dog yeah you know second time i stayed away for grad school direct tv so, what do you? What's more impressive? I don't know. Dog or direct TV? Uh, but is still kicking. Maybe not the day, but like literally, like within days of me leaving for college. Yeah. And after we all, you know, we sold the house and everyone. My mom took the dog with her to Pennsylvania, and she was like, you know, our family dog. She was still, you know, we had her for our teenage and you know early twenty years and stuff like that. And uh, they said that I don't know what happened. It was some. She just like wasn't eating. They said like, listen, like she's in a lot of pain. You might as well just put her down. They said after two to three weeks, my mom will get the ashes. And then they have like this like frame set that my sister brought up to get on Amazon. And it's like a picture of a frame. And then there's like a vial that you put the ashes in. Yeah. So like every one of us is going to get a little bit of the ashes. Well, it's kind of cute. Yeah. But like I would rather do like the whole like blowing the ashes like where they like. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, wherever. I don't even know what yeah. your dog liked to do. She liked to... Uh, uh, Chase squirrels is all dogs typically like to do. Yeah. Um, I did. I had to be the one to break the sadness. Everyone was very upset, obviously. Yeah. And years and years and years ago, she ate a condom, a used condom. Okay. My dog. A used condom. Oh yeah. Who used it? No idea. It was in an alleyway, and she chewed on it. Oh, good. Yeah. And I said, I was like, this might have been an aftermath of that. <laughs> But no connection yet. No correlation there. Who was walking the dog? Uh, I think my sister. Pretty irresponsible of her. Very irresponsible of my sister letting my dog chew on a used condom. <laughs> but, you know, it happens. Alleyways in New York City, baby. That's what you're going to find. Yeah. Needles and used condoms. If the COVID doesn't get you, the used condoms will. Can you shut again, that? Again. Can you shut that? You do this on purpose. No, I try to warm the room, buddy. It's fucking freezing in here, you know? Nope. There you go. Yeah, I thought it was a double click. No, it's just one of a... Just a single click. Yeah, who double clicks power? Buttons? I double click on some things. No. But yeah, so my dog's dead. She's gone. RIP Rogue. Are you still good, though? You're like, you're good? 
Yeah, I was okay. You know, Damn, I was sad. Dude, this is like the actual Marvel universe. You know what I'm saying? You're like Thanos because uh, well, you had a dog named Mystique. That's dead. I mean, a cat, cat named Mystique. Mystique. She's gone. Way yeah, gone. And then Rogue. Another yeah, yeah, I'm just just killing off Marvel named pets, like snapping off his fucking pets. Yeah, uh, no, I'm fine. You know, I I mean, it was sad at the time. I I will tell you this: the thing that really really hurt was telling Miles. Oh yeah, I mean, oh, that fucking hurt because was, I was in the room tight. and my mom was like, you know, call individually and you say your, your goodbyes, and I was okay. You know, like I I kept it together. Of course, I shed a couple tears. But I had to tell Miles, like, because the Rogue was with us a week prior. Yeah. And, like, she was, like, seemed to be okay. You know, she was old and grumpy. Uh, But I was like, Miles, you know, I told him he got real upset. You know, he he's okay. I think he's he's emotionally matured because of different things in his life, you know, where he gets it. You know, for a fucking six-year-old, it's pretty impressive. But, you know, that hurt more than, like, the realization. Right. For me, at least. Yeah, I mean, seeing, yeah. It's you tough. know, it's a toughie. It's a I toughie. think it was like you ever see that uh, documentary on HBO, "You'll Be Gone in the Dark" or something like that. What the fuck? Why would I watch that? It's fucking incredible! It's about a serial killer in California. You never heard this story? And, You'll be um, gone in the dark. Listen, and it's like a six-part miniseries. It's about a serial killer. It was a cold case for years, and the the comedian Patton Oswalt, yeah, his wife was like dedicated to finding out who this person was. And she did years and years and years and years and years of research, and she dies, like at of like an accidental overdose, and she fucking figured out who this person was. What do you mean, bro? Watch it. Wait, so she found out, and then she mysteriously dies. She, so she like did all this research and did interviews and spoke to like DNA fucking like DNA specialists. But she found out who it was and wrote books on it. And then she died of an accidental overdose. I'm, I might be spoiling it, but it's it's like a popular story. Okay, but like, did, so do we know who did it? Yeah. And she fucking got him. Nice. Bro, it was, it's so good. Do you think that he did this? He killed her? No, it was an accidental overdose. Oh, I didn't know if that no, was. No, no, I, th- no. I thought you were like being sneaky. No, 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 no. no. Um, but the reason I brought it up is because Pat Oswalt said he was like, the worst, the second worst day of my life was losing my wife. He's like, the worst day of my life was telling my daughter that her mom was gone. I was yeah. like, oof. Yeah. That fucking hurt. Jesus, you said all what that. Wait, wait. Okay. Welcome back at Mission Yard. I hope everyone's having a good fucking time. <laughs> Happy New Year. In the dark. What was it, it called? You'll be gone in the dark. You'll something. be gone in the something dark. Something like that. Watch it. It's really, really good. Just to make it a little lighter, I'm also dealing with some sort of, uh, I guess, crisis in a way. What happened? Um, so. Well, you're wearing a shirt with pears on it. Yeah. It's French. Well, whatever. Wait, does that say Queens Nea York? Is that how they spell New York? What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I just noticed that. Yeah. What is that? Who knows? Um, but I, uh, yeah, so I, um, on a Patreon episode that we had did, mm-hmm. patreon.com slash basement yard, where we like to get a little crazy. A on lot those. of crazy, actually. Uh, and one of the episodes we had went through a list of things saying like what we would sell our pictures of her feet for. Yes, we did. Like yes, we did. A video of our uh, us helicoptering our wieners. Yep. Yep. Um, and we just kind of threw out prices. A couple Guys, prices. I don't know if people are aware of this, but this show, not very... Don't take us serious. Don't hold me to anything that I say. You know, I won't defend anything I say. Unless it has to do with, you know, promoting me giving me more money nothing guys <laughs> <Okay>. nothing <laughs> but i had said apparently that i would sell a picture of my butt for like 20 bucks or something that's it yeah i mean well it's a butt pic yeah it's just naked butt yeah and like whatever so i had said that wait a sec hold on <laughs> where is this going i think i know and i just got a random venmo <laughs> <laughs> i got a random venmo from a, a gentleman okay yeah um and it was twenty bucks, and it, and it, and the message just says, "Show me that buck pit, bro." Oh, with the with the yeah. strong arm. The message just says, "Show me that buck." Take take two. The message says, "Show me that butt pick, bro." Oh yeah. And then a muscle, so like he flexed on. I love it. how you bro it. He's like, "Show me your fucking ass." Dude. Well, that's the way. It's not gay if it's between bros. That's what I mean. It doesn't feel gay. You know, I mean, if, think of like all the gay stuff we did, like without mouths. But like, you know, like you show each other your balls. You know, you moon each other. Say without mouths. Yeah, we didn't. Oh, do, we didn't do mouth stuff. Yeah, we didn't do mouth stuff. We didn't do hand stuff either, though. I mean, like it was like a distant. It was distant. It, gay it was stuff. like a you know like a stack tap. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, this yeah is, I've, I've definitely flicked your balls. Yeah, between bros, not gay. No. If you just flex. So he's he's got the formula here. He yeah, clearly so, he's an avid listener. That was December 3rd. Oh, that's a while ago, Joey. Yeah, and then December 4th, he wrote on that payment, Yeah. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Because, I mean, I didn't even know. To be honest, I didn't even notice. Oh, you get so many money. Yeah. It just rolls in. Just more money. Two two days after that, yeah, the comment again on oh, the same payment okay. and said, are you not actually selling picks like you said you would on the Patreon? Hold on. Yeah. This, I mean, if they are an avid listener, they would know. We're not serious. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I mean, maybe, I think this was more of just like shot, shot in, the, in the dark. Yeah. You try and you'll be shot in the dark. You'll be gone in the dark and, <laughs> and shot as and well. Shot as well. Shot in the back of the head. Yep. Um, and then, <laughs> and then, uh, a couple of days after that, he had sent me, he charged me. I don't think that I get, I think that I only get notifications if I'm being charged. Oh, so like if people send you money. I don't get no notifications. But like if they're requesting money. Then I get it. Gotcha. So, uh, which I'm, by the way, after this, I'm taking off all notifications. You guys are going to fuck yourself. Yeah. He might as well just shut his Venmo down. <laughs> but then the dude charged me. And he said, I got scammed by you. Scammed. Wow. That I, he's been hoodwinked. <laughs> I got scammed by you saying you would sell butt pics on Patreon. Please send the money back. And I sent it back. Well, that's very respectful and honest yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you, man, this person, like, you legitimately ruined someone's day because you wouldn't produce. First of all, good on this man. You gotta get your money back. For just, first of all, taking a shot at it. Yeah. A spit in the wind, as some people say. And... uh Called you out, really. Yeah, it really uh, put me in my place, to be honest with you. And I didn't really expect anyone to do that because I thought that we were joking. We were talking about a helicopter penis video, Helicopter pee yep. Yeah. <laughs> helicopter pee <pee-pee>. Helicopter <laughs> pee yep. Um, but yeah, so he, uh, he, he, you know, I guess he was, like, cool about it because I didn't get any, like, follow-up after that. So then what would be, like, if someone were to send you, what, like, hypothetically, let's say it was, like, $1,000 for, like, you know, your a balls. A butt? Oh, your my balls. Bu- would you take that? 1000 bucks. That's 1000 bucks, dude. <sighs> I probably I'd be more inclined to do a balls than like butt. I'm in a weird crossroads. Isn't that weird? Would you rather? I mean, you would rather. Do I would it. rather people see my balls in my butt. Absolutely. Yeah, because it's like butt is like a like personal. Yeah, I completely... balls are for the for the public. Ball, ball, well, <laughs> not the public. Not the public. But like like a controlled public. Like I feel uh, whatever this says about my body, I feel better about my balls than I do my butt, and I feel not great about my balls. <laughs> Let's say that. <laughs> Let's say that right there. I just feel like all balls are just kind of like, hey, I would have a balls, you know? Uh, like, they're not, they're not, none of them are cool. Balls aren't cool unless there's, like, something really cool about them. You know what I mean? Like, unless they're, like, real big or real low. Like, low. Like, they hang real low. Are you, like, pendulum, like a pendulum yeah, ball? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like but a like, grandfather clock. For the most part, like, balls are just, like, balls. balls. Like, yeah. you wouldn't be able to distinguish between your balls and anyone else's. Yeah, and they're not really cool to see. It's not like, oh, oh, so is, I, his, his ball pick leaked. It's we, like, who cares? Yeah, who cares? No one would, no one would care about that. I would not that. look that up. Um, and it's kind of weird because women have, like, when there are, like, celebrities that get pictures of them leaked, people flock at it. But, like, if it was, like, Joe Cinegato nut pick leaked, no one's going to care. A balls, no one, no one cares? Will care. No one's looking for that either. No one's looking for balls. No one's going to hack your phone, yeah. you know, to get your balls. Yeah, and then... <laughs> and which, if you had pictures of your balls on your phone, I'd have more questions. That would be honestly hysterical. <laughs> It would. It's like, can you imagine, right? Because what was the thing called with the oh the fat the fappening the fappening the fappening yes when all the celebrity shit yes leaked? yes 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 can you imagine they hacked like some big celebrity like I'm trying to think. Channing Tatum Channing Tatum right and in his iCloud there wasn't any dick pics no dicks it was just balls just balls <laughs> I feel like if anything that's a better security system. Like, if you, like, you know how people, like, say, like, you know, put, like, your porn in a folder and it's called, like, taxes or some shit like that. Yeah. Well, I don't, I think that's just you. No, not me. I'm, I'm saying, like, if you were to just, like, to protect yourselves from hackers, just balls. flood your iCloud with balls. So yeah. they're just like, ah, nothing here. Yeah. You and know? that's such a tease, too, because you're like, yo, we're right there. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just a couple balls. inches up. Like, you ever, like, see a picture and you, like, go like this to see if you could see, like... Obviously, it's not literally serious. never have done that. Well, I've I've done it in joking fashions, but like, if you were like you know just balls and Channing Tatum with balls, you'd be curious about what that cock looked like and do whatever you can, you know. 
No? Am I the only one there? Uh, I mean, uh, but I actually, it's funny because on a recent episode, we said, um, you know, like, ball, no one likes balls. Right. No one likes balls. I Me received too. Me too. notification from a female that I know mm-hmm. uh, who will rename, remain nameless yeah. that they said, uh, correct, women don't care for balls, except they like the feeling of the balls clapping on them. I've heard that. And I was like, I need more. You know, I inquired a little further you because need, that that's that's a heavy statement. You need swingy balls. Because you I can't control I can barely control my bowels. I can't control my balls in any capacity. Full disclosure, when I'm having sex, I don't even know that I have balls. Yeah, my balls are gone. Like I don't even know that like I have never like I don't Thinking about it right now, I'm so focused on the feeling on my wiener mm-hmm. that I don't even remember my ball. It's like the idea that, like, technically you always are looking at your nose, but because you see it so much, you don't, you really, know, you don't really see it. I'm desensitized. Same, same thing with balls. Joey has so much sex <laughs> that he just doesn't feel his balls. No, I just don't. I just no, no, no. I, I, I went through it, but I inquired further. I was like, I need more. Like, what do you mean it feels good? And, and, and she said, she's like, the feeling of... Like every now and then the balls will hit the right spot mm. and it, it's great. And in that moment, I love balls. And I was like, well, hold on. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. I was like, so you're telling me you like balls because of a random one out of 30 pump chance? That seems, that seems you might as well not like them at that point. I mean, that's how many pumps do you think a full sex session is? Well, it depends on who we're talking about. I mean, I, I, I would I'm say on average, average Joe. on average, average Joe, I would say 32. Wait, what are you talking about? 32 pumps and that's it? I would say some people go different, longer strokes, shorter strokes. Dude, way higher than 30. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. I'm Dude, like, I can run through, th- not that I'm jackhammering anybody, but like I can run through 30 Have pumps. Have you ever like- counted? Well, next time I'm now gonna. you're gonna. <laughs> it's going to be like the Tootsie Pop commercial. Yeah. Two, two, One. two owls <laughs> fucking each other. <laughs> Two owls fucking each other. It's like, what? How many pumps did they get to the center of the cum pot? <laughs> Don't ever say that ever again, you disgusting bitch. fucking gross. <laughs> but like, now you have to. And I'm yeah, going to just gonna hear count. that owl in the back of my head. I was thinking... When in T... Bro, I was... Three. I was thinking like, close to 100. Okay, all right. Let's say, well, we got to talk average because not everyone is as stallion-like as you are. Bro, I don't think that's like stallion. I would say, I would say, let's meet in the middle. Let's say like 72. I'll even go, like, yeah, yes. Six, Seven, 60 to 70. 60, 65 to 75. <laughs> well, man. That man. I got to really count next time. You might be shocked. Like, let's I do, might go, <laughs> you might, <laughs> next whack. time, you're just going to think it too much and you're just going to get like eight pumps in and be like, all right, this um, is yeah, an extraneous I, solution. Yeah. We don't need this. The outlier on the bell curve. Yeah. <laughs> Let's conduct a social experiment. Yeah, I wonder what the number is. Everyone here. Do you think it's on Google? I would I would assume how many pumps on average does sex last? I'm I'm gonna say this as you're looking that up. Let's conduct a social experiment, okay? All of the people that watch this show that engage in some form of consensual sex with a partner count. The pumps. Yeah. Don't go for longevity. Don't go to get it done quick. You yeah. know, don't don't be like mom's in the next room. Let's get it get her done. Right. Go to see like average. Yeah. Count. Report back. We will put together. You know, of course, we need a you know community representative of the larger community at scale to make sure that we're not you know just taking a small subset of our. You've now lost me. I don't society. know. I don't know what we're saying. Well. Uh, <laughs> Let me know. Let not me. Let the basement yard DM the basement yard account, and we'll put together a little like bar graph or something. Pie yeah, chart. I'd be down. Part chart. We'll part, break. You say part? Part chart. No, but like we'll break it down by gender. How like the like obviously sex in its entirety will last anywhere from like twenty to thirty five minutes, something like that. Joey, I'm I'm, to- I'm not talking about actual sex. Oh, like the start of foreplay. To the cleaning up. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Like, we need to... If we're running a social experiment here, listen, we can get our buddy Mark Rober on the phone, and we can start setting up some shit. <laughs> the fuck is that? You never heard of Mark Rober, the guy that's a glitter bomb? Oh, okay, yeah. No, I... Uh, <laughs> it's funny. But yeah, I was saying... But like, the actual pump part of sex... Yeah. Uh, is what? How long? 
the pump part, I would say, I would say eight and a half minutes. That's honestly, I was gonna go there. Eight that's, and a half. That's good. Eight and a half from first and search to final eject. Yeah, and also, but we're talking whistle to whistle, so we're not we're not like you know we're getting in between positions, in between the hashes and, and everything like, too. If we right? stop to like yell at each other or something. Oh well, hold on. <laughs> Let's explore that a little bit. I'm saying this. Listen, we can set up a scientific. We can break down the scientific method here. <laughs> we can did break you down. See what I did? Yeah, <laughs> that's that's more concerning than anything oh, else. Oh God. I would say we need to because we need to think of like where is the sex happening too, you know like oh no we're doing neutral is ground. like the air you know how they say like you know like does the air if you put a banana in a bag on top of a fridge does it go bad quicker yeah no you know, and no funny stuff no no, funny stuff. no cock rings no cock rings no pumps does the air like in the kitchen make you last longer no room temperature you know are we going like what's the altitude you know everything's oh you alt- can't do this in Denver no Denver stay away yeah we're out you of know this. or Louisiana too low. Is it? Too low. Okay. It's yeah. like below sea level, basically. Oh, no, we can't do that. We need, like, middle of the ground, Ohio. Yeah. How are the people in Ohio having sex? Yeah, I feel like that's the most, like, neutral kind of state. Not, po- maybe, not politically. Maybe not politically. But I'm just, I just meant, like, you know. But Pennsylvania, they flip-flop. They go red, blue, red, blue. Whatever. They're not a state, though. They're a commonwealth. So that might that might take Pennsylvania? Away from yeah. It's a state. Well, technically, they're a commonwealth. It's a state. Well, they call themselves a commonwealth. That's cool. They're a state. Oh yeah, yeah. Explore that further. So it's just because it asks, 50 states. it asks to be called a commonwealth, you're not going to call it a commonwealth. No. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we <laughs> got a commonwealth. What is this? I don't know. It's what Anderson Cooper says. This isn't fucking. And anything he says is true. So a commonwealth. What is I, this? Dungeons might, and, is Lord of the Rings? I might actually put together some science experiment here, identifying a hypothesis, uh, and, and reporting back to you on the details. Yeah, do it. I, I might. I I, I uh, definitely want to know. And you don't, but I wait, will which let one you know. Wait, which one? Are you, the you... the pumps. Oh, okay. I was like, I was confused what you were talking. Yeah. About. So I might create. I might create a. I might be a scientist, social scientist. Any social scientists out there? Let's let's work together. Get it done. <laughs> you think social scientists are watching this show? It's <laughs> a shot. When they have a, they had a long day. It's so like I just want to get dumber. <laughs> All right, let's get to the sponsors for today. The first one we have here is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online counseling. You can talk to a therapist in just under 48 hours. You can start communicating with your therapist. Um, and they have a broad range of expertise. Of uh, They have experts who uh, specialize in, you know, anxiety or family trauma or, you know, depression, anything. Um, they also make it very easy to switch between uh, each therapist so that you can find the right fit for you. Uh, you know, you can join over the million people that are taking control of their mental health. I've been in therapy for over, I think, almost two years now, um, and it is amazing. I think that everyone should do it. Um, so, yeah, go check out BetterHelp. Uh, you can save some money, too. On the first month, you'll get 10% off uh, if you go to BetterHelp.com. Uh, and um, BetterHelp.com slash yard. I'm sorry. You go to BetterHelp.com slash yard. You get 10% off your first month. Um, but, yeah, definitely go check it out. I think it's it's just good, you know, to be able to talk to somebody. Um and they do a good job at, at facilitating that. So go to betterhelp.com slash yard, get 10% off of your first month. Uh, our next sponsor is stamps.com, uh, which brings uh, all of the things that the post office would do uh, right to your fingertips at home. All you need is a computer and a printer. Um, they have negotiated deeply discounted rates for you. You can get up to 40% off U- USPS shipping rates and 76% off UPS um, it integrates with one, uh, some of the most popular online markets and shopping carts, including Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, and eBay. Um, but yeah, it's great. You can print postage at any time. You don't have to wait on a line. You don't have to drive t- to anywhere. You could do it from the comfort of your own home. Uh, for over 20 years, Stamps.com has helped over a million businesses save time and money on shipping. So if you have a small business or you're just sending out some packages, definitely use Stamps.com. And now with this promo, uh, you can save even more. Uh, there's no risk, and with the promo code BASEMENT, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial, uh, plus free postage and a digital shipping scale, no long-term commi- commitments or contracts. Uh, just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in BASEMENT. That is stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in BASEMENT. Uh, but yeah, go check out stamps.com. Uh, another sponsor that we have for today is Truebill. 
Um, and this will save you a bunch of money uh, every year. Um, it's the new app that helps you identify uh, and stop paying for subscriptions. Uh, you don't need want or you've probably just forgot about. I think that, you know, I've gone through my uh, bank statements and, and like on my phone also and just found out that I had been paying for these subscriptions of things that I just don't use um, or old accounts or something like that. So Truebill will help you identify these things and then you can, you know, you can stop them and save a bunch of money. On average, people save up to $720 a year. So you would rather have $720 on average um, when you use Truebill, uh, you know, because companies, they make subscriptions hard to cancel or, you know, it's just things you forget about. Or you get a new phone, you don't know to switch it. So Truebill will help you, uh, you know, save your money. It has over 2 million users, has helped them save over $100 million. Um, so don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash basement uh go right now truebill.com slash basement it could save you thousands uh this year you never know um and lastly here we have this really cool company uh called factor uh they make it easy um to eat clean 24 7 uh big fan of this it, it, it's you know i'm trying to get back into shape running shape um so eating um, properly is huge and um they don't have frozen meals they're prepared they're delicious uh, you wouldn't believe that they're actually like good for you. Um, it saves time by delivering chef crafted meals to your doorstep, eliminating the hassle of grocery shopping and meal prep. So you don't have to cook it. It'll just come prepared and you're good to go. Um, and with more than 27 meal options every week, it's never bored. You know, you could always have something new. Uh, so it's great. Uh, it even knows preferences. They have vegan, they have veggie meals, they have cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites. Um, they have a ton of stuff, so definitely go check them out. Uh, head to go.factor75.com slash plans and use the code BASEMENT120 and get $120 off of your first five weeks of meals. That's code BASEMENT120 at go.factor75.com slash plans for $120 off. So that is a huge discount there. Uh, for these meals, definitely go check out their site. I encourage you to do that. They have keto stuff also, like whatever your diet is, I'm sure they have something for you. Um, go check out the meals. They're really good. Um, again, that is the code basement 120 at go.factor75.com slash plans for $120 off. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to talk about something that I, I just posted an Instagram video about it. Mm -hmm. um, but Jeff Bezos, right? Whew. Who's the richest guy in the world, yeah, right? Yeah, one of them. Owns Amazon and, you know, you know, whatever. I think he stepped down. A CEO. He did. Um, so he's just coasting right now. Well, I'm sure he's working. On he's what? doing space shit. Well, he's, yeah, he's trying to get into space. The guy laughs like a fucking weirdo. So I'm telling you right now, Guys, go super Google villain. It. Go Google. Ha uh, ha ha! It's like so. Ha 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 ha! Oh yeah, he's a super villain. It's, it's like, all right. Did you just laugh yesterday for the first time. Lex Luthor has been born and is here in power. It's just we haven't figured out how to kill him yet. That's correct. Um, but he's like yoked now. Like, I'm pretty sure he's on HGH because he's... Stop. Bro, do you, you haven't seen this photo? That's it. Wait, like, how yoked are we talking? Bro, like a, like, not like fucking The Rock. Okay, well then I'm, th there's still hope that I can kick his ass. Mm, really? I don't know. That yoked? All right, so I'm going to show you an old picture mm -hmm. of, of JB here. Mm -hmm. uh, where can we... How old are we talking? I need to know, like, timeline here. Are we I'll talking? just show you a regular photo, right? That one's blurry. Come on, Joe. But what you know what he looks like. He was like a skinny guy. I know guy. what he looks like. His eyes are all fucked up. Jeff Bezos, jacked. These are not... This is one of the pictures I saw. This is not photoshopped. Dude. <laughs> what? This dude's like Jason Statham. Dude, he, he looks like J.K. Simmons had a baby with... Yeah, Jason Statham. That's fucking insane, right? But then there was another picture that just came out of him on a boat with his shirt off. And, like, he's an older guy, so, like, whatever. But like, He's not that old, though. He's in his 50s, right? Yeah, dude, look at him. He just didn't look like that. Bro, That's that looks like Daniel Craig. Right? That doesn't look like Jeff Bezos. What happened here? Uh-oh. He's getting ready. Because he previously was able to strong-arm us with money and goods. And now he's like, <laughs> guess what? I'll also physically fuck you up. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. And like, I, for one, am 
Like, I said this in the video that I made. I don't really talk shit about billionaires because I'm afraid that one day I'm going to meet one and they're going to want to give me stuff and then people are going to find out that I said, like, fuck this guy. Yeah. So I don't say anything because I he's would smart. like some he knows free he, money. He's closer to being there than he's not. I mean, you might as well just tell you that flat out. I <laughs> I don't want to burn any billionaire bridges. Yeah. You just know? in case someone tells you, hey, I'm a big fan of the show. And then you're like, shit, well, don't watch episode 324. Yeah, you know. Um, so I don't say anything. But now I think I would like to fight him. Like, I think I'm going to hit up Jake Paul, JP, you know. That's Who is, like, doing good things now? You saw that whole thing with him, like, his demands to, uh, Dana, to White. Dana White? Yeah. Okay. And you know what? They actually have a little drug test thing going, too, where he's like, I want to drug test you for cocaine. Yeah. And then Dana White's, I want to test, I wanna you, drug for test you for steroids. Yeah. And now I want to test him for HGH, and he can test me. I don't, I, what test would you test me for? For STDs or, you know, Sure, yeah, that'll you know, do it. My, I mean, while you're in there, tell me, like... <laughs> Whatever is helpful. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever whatever's going to help you get ahead of it, you know? You know, yeah. It's like, while if you're he's in doing there, steroid, tell like, me my blood type, because I don't know that shit. It's only a matter of time before Amazon starts doing, like, two-day delivery on steroids. Right. Well, you probably get some, for sure. Um, well, what if Amazon... Hold on. I might trademark in this, so if Bezos steals it, I can be right there next to him in billions. What if, you know how Amazon Prime is like goods and stuff now, and it's like two days, it'll be to you, basically, maybe even the next day, who knows, maybe we'll fuck around. Mm -hmm. What if they start doing that with like fitness equipment, but it's like, yo, you can have it for like four hours, we'll come get it, deliver it to the next person. Well, like show up and like set up. Show up and be like, yo, in your driveway, they'll be like, yo, here's dumbbells and a rack, we'll be back in four hours. Yo, honestly, that's kind of... Like a smart idea. Right? Trademark Frank, Frank Alvarez at Studios. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Oh, okay. Like, think about that. I know. Like, if you, okay. I wanted to hit the jackpot here, Joey. I, for you guys that know this, any outside of the show idea I've had, Joey doesn't care much for. <laughs> so, this is a big moment for me. <laughs> no, I feel like, it, you know, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but it I is. think that's why that, like, works because I feel like rich people would definitely. Do, well, no, it's the poor people like me that would do it. If they're like, yo, I can't afford $300 for a dumbbell set. And it's like, yo, pay 80 bucks a month, less, 30 bucks a month, once a day for four hours, we'll drop off a set of dumbbells and some workout equipment. I doubt you'd be able to do that. Why? Be because of the cost, dude. You would have to drive and it would just, it, that's Hire a premium drivers. service. Hire drivers. It's a premium service. $100 a month. It, to me, it sounds like your market is rich people who live in a- $500 a year. In a <laughs> well, if they're rich, they can just buy the dumbbells. Yeah, but maybe they don't have the space. They live in an apartment. Bro, if and they have they, the space, if they're that rich and they live in an apartment, they they have another house that they can figure it out. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, but we've debunked this already. We are. Yeah, it's, it's not uh, But yeah, work. so he's he's jacked. And also he's wearing like drug lord t-shirts now. Oh, damn. It's, I'm telling you, man. The end of the world will be brought on by Jeff Bezos being like, yo, I have a death laser pointed at Earth. Everyone just admit that I'm your lord and savior. I'm ready to do that. But like, whatever. I don't care much. He can be my daddy. Yeah, like, I would love... My dad has way less money than him. He, my current dad? He's cool. He's what, all right. What does my current dad mean? Like, You've had other dads? No, I'm just saying, like, if if there comes a time where I have to say, like, Dad, you're no longer my dad. It's Jeff right. Bezos. Yeah. I will just get ahead of it, you know, and just show yeah. my loyalty. Bow down to him. Yeah, I would do that. Right. I have no problem with it. My, I think my dad would understand, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what choice do I have? As long as I don't change my last name, I think my dad would be cool. Oh, he just wants Alvarez? He would be very upset if I did that. Damn. I had a family member that uh, changed her last name. Why? Hate the family? The, I don't know what the reason. Like, to, Basically, the story is they did it to like fit in with their community. And what community? Al what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my dad like was not cool with it. He was like, that's a fucking disrespect. Yes, we'll fucking dip with spec. And I'm like, okay. Fit in with their community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you more off off air. But... Oh, no. Let's get into the nitty gritty of your family. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed by this, about uh, the drug lord shirts. All I'm going to say I is... I think he had like a New Year's party and he was like, we're going to wear drug lord shirts. Shh, cool. That's great. Yeah, I, I thought it was cool. All I'm going to say is... Cool shirt. This comes less than two months after the video of his wife. Being Gaga Goo Goo over Leonardo DiCaprio. Or is that girlfriend, his wife? Girlfriend, whatever she oh, is. Oh, yeah, something. something that Cynthia motivated Sanchez. him. He literally said, like, all right, now I need to fuck this guy up when I see him, which yeah. I don't think it would be hard to fight DiCaprio. He doesn't really take good care of himself. I think that he's, like, kind of a psycho, though. Why? He just, like, has this, like, like, I don't want to see him, like, angry. Like, I would never want to fight Leo. 
I, like, I feel like he's, he's like a dirty fighter. Well, he's a dirty person. Um, he's like, why? Well, I don't know. I don't well, he know like that. bangs like 19 year olds or whatever. Well, yeah, that's weird. Um, but we actually, on another Patreon episode, we spoke about method acting and he like, was like, yo, like if I'm going to eat cow liver, like raw horse liver, get me a raw horse liver and I'm going to eat it legit. Jeff Bezos is five, seven. I'm back on the train of being able oh, to oh. shit kick him. Yeah. If you're under five, eight. I don't care how big you are. I can dog you. Anyone that is within, that is under six foot, I feel like I have a shot. Yeah. Unless they're a professional fighter. Do you have a shot? I'm six foot. Do you think you could fight, beat me up? No. I really? Don't, I don't think so. Wow. That's really nice of you, I Joe. mean, I feel like I could, you know, I have a puncher's chance. Right shot. Right you know? shot. You'll take but me But I down. feel like you'd probably just like, Get on, like, I'm like also, get on top of me and man. Yeah, that, that's me, what right? I would do. I would, I'd, you know? I'd, I'd use my if body weight. If I can weight. keep it up and keep distance and just throw some strikes. Well, you got cardio on your hands. You do jogs. Yeah. I don't do that. I need to, I need to, like, you know, make it last and then I could beat you. You know, like, they, people always say, like, Tyson and Ali. Like, Ali would run circles around Tyson and tire him out. That's what you would do is you'd run circles around me. I'd get tired. I'd have to go in with a plan. And then, it, and then you could knock me down. But, like, if you try to body me, it might be a little tough. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be able to do that. Like, I took I down Pete. Like, yeah, I took down big hot smoky Pete. <laughs> big hot smoky Pete. And uh, maybe we'll put that video on the Basin Yard Instagram. For really, <laughs> really start Pete's year on a good note. I'm lose it. Uh, uh, but if I could, if I could take him down, I think I could take you down. Oh, you definitely could take me down. Nice. All right. Cool. We, we would like roll down a hill or something. Boy, this is a great start for the year for me. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling great. I am feeling good. But if you were five ten, I'd be like. I get, I, I get that. See, that's the thing. I don't think that, like, I don't know why height is, is the thing that it whatever. Is it's men. That's what we're defined by. But even someone who's, like, yoked, if they're, like, my height, I'm like, well, I, I feel like I have a shot here. Yeah. I, I don't think muscle mass really has much to do with it. Also, 5'7", like, You're a maybe child. I'm an idiot, blindly confident in pretty much anyone who isn't a professional fighter. Yeah. And it's funny because that's only, like, three inches shorter than you. Yeah. By the way... I'm not trained to fight at all. No, like you're I, not. You were boxing Joe for a couple weeks. Yeah, for a, like I I know the very one on one of how to throw a punch, but oh, I know nothing. There's nothing that I like could really. I know. I can't hurt anyone. Let me just say that. I'll put it like this: the amount of knowledge that I have is that when I was in sixth grade, I convinced myself that the right way to punch someone was like this to to really hurt them. Them being you because you were break your. I know. Finger. Well, that's the thing. Is that afterward I was. Yo, you got a thick middle finger. What the fuck is that? Thanks. That's like a like a. Like a, what is that? That's a big middle thingy. Okay, that don't do that. You know I hate that shit. Please stop. Wait, this is the best one. I hate that so much. <laughs> I can crack a lot. Why? I can. Let's you... see if my neck goes. You ready? <laughs> How are you even able to do that? Because mine never cracks at all. You're scared. You're too afraid to do it. You don't know what you're doing. You can't just turn to the... You need to, like... You need to put your back into it a little bit. My back? Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? You don't know what you're doing. My mouth opens when I do you that. You look a little reason. stupid. I'll be honest. I can crack my back, too, if I wanted. Don't. I don't want to hear any of that. You, you got to hear my toes crack. Those are crazy. I don't need to hear anything. I got to like... grab my big toe like a doorknob and, like, yank it to the side. Have this ever resulted in injuries, what you're saying? Nothing I know of. Not to me. <laughs> Maybe psychological injuries to you. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't fucking. I used to grab my fingers all the time and try to fucking do that shit. I did I did? Um, another thing I wanted to talk about. This is an old story, but I saw the headline and was like, okay. Uh, the the headline for it was passenger says Delta pilot used grinder to hit on him during the flight. That is awesome, dude. Imagine being a pilot and just in the sky and like, dick. Well, I don't listen. The dick well, don't sleep. Well, no. when you fly a dick that much for for a living, it is a phallic. It's very phallic. All f transportation it f trains, pretty dick like. Pretty dick like. Well, it's because it's the aerodynamic. Nothing is more scientifically, you know, impressive than the phallic shape. You know, it cuts through the air real quick. You know, it gets to A and B real quick. A being anus, B being balls. Yeah. Um, you know, bussy, bussy. <laughs> uh, but. That's that's kind of cool. Yeah, the guy was basically saying like he like the I guess the one of the pilots. Was, Why did he complain? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. And also like the guy wasn't being like a creep or anything. From what I read, he was just kind of like, oh hey, like I'm, you're on my flight. Oh, and did, <laughs> and he admitted he was the pilot. Yeah, which Rook. like bro, 
conceal that a rookie little bit. Mistake. Jesus Christ. Rookie, rookie, rookie mistake. Maybe afterward, be like, yo, you were just on my flight. I was the pilot. Bro, also, if I'm, like, on grinder, and the pilot's like, yo, what's good? It's like, I'm the pilot. I'm flying this shit. That's kind of horny. I would be like, bro, definitely, like, send me something here. Yeah, like, how would I... You like would an need... extra biscuit. Oh, you, oh, oh, you're talking about, like, some, like, amenities. I was thought, Oh, yeah, I thought dude. you would be like, yo, like, put your finger on the eject button. Don't press it and send it to me. You know, like... Oh, no. What the... F- eject? Well, I'm just... <laughs> The only button I could think of. Eject. There's definitely one so of I'm those. I'm gonna pop up one of these windows. Yeah, there's definitely. If it's really you, you know, like si- like put the the fucking seatbelt light on or some <laughs> shit. If it's really you, prove it. Turn the plane stall button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you're saying like, yo, like if it's really you, a like, glass send of me, wine. Send me a glass of wine. Yeah. On the plane, not the house. Can't can't be like that. Oh no, I would definitely be like, I'm not paying for this. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? I'm not That's paying smart. for it. It's really smart. Yeah. I, I, that's how I would probably I'd be like, bro, I'm going to the papers. I would be too, because remember, I, I was on a dating app for a couple of months, didn't get a single hit, and I, <laughs> like, I uh, like, think back on it. Which one? Bumble. Fire. Oh, yeah. Right before I met my current wife, yeah. I was on there for a couple months. Bumble. Not a single person. That's good. That's cute. Um, and uh, I'm saying, like, I would be, like, freaked out through, like, a catfish. And it's like, yo, if it's really you, send a picture of you holding a pillow, like, diagonal-shaped. You know, or di- diamond-shaped, excuse me. And, like, see if they would do it. You know? <laughs> so if I was on Grinder, I'd be like, yo, if this is really you, put the seatbelt light on. Send back a, a flight attendant and have them whisper, you know papaya in my ear or some shit fly the plane to thirty five thousand sixty nine feet yes just yeah. get exactly exactly yeah. like slow down to 420 miles per hour go to sixty nine thousand feet yeah that might be too high that's also it's slow. in the atmosphere <laughs> sixty nine thousand feet yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> press the board press the the fuck? <laughs> Sixty-nine thousand. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god! I mean, <laughs> space with Bezos. That creep. You might be. Um. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. Oh, but then I started. Quick, thinking, that's a quick way to. Is join that? The is that like? High. It was like in the papers. So like, I think the Post put out something about it. Who the fuck are you? Who were you born? Sixty-one <laughs> in the papers. What's wrong with you? It was in the media. Yeah. Um. And like the Post put a story up. Do you think that's like inappropriate? Like should should pilots should, like be allowed to be to on dating apps trying to like fuck? That's the a good people? question because it's like in the course of their employment, you know, they're 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 seeking out. But like we're humans, man. We're always yeah. Because like yo, if you're a cashier, you see a pretty girl, you're like, oh hey, like you know, what do you? I get off at five. Well, right? if That's you're normal. if you're the cashier and you say that, yeah, it's probably inappropriate because like I don't know, it's weird. In the course of your employment, you have to represent your company well. Not as, as a supermarket, though. Well, some, like, like I remember when I worked for Target, they would tell people, like, yo, if you hit on someone, you're fired, basically. Damn. Because, like, think of the lawsuits that come Dude, from that. where are you supposed to meet people? I'm not saying that you should, like, Just be like hit yo, on everyone. I go, I'd be like, yo, um... I'm saying if the opportunity presents itself, someone hits on you, what are you going to do? Be like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, you got to, you know, it depends on how much you value your job and stuff like that. I mean, like, then you got to get into the whole, like, uh-oh, Joey, you know, is using his power. Because then you look at people that, like... As a cashier? The, you know, I'm not saying that. You know, I've seen pe- I've heard of people. I shouldn't say seen them. I've heard of people being like, like, this is a good-looking person that's coming to my line. And, like, they give him, like, a $5 discount or something. And it's like, yo, you're abusing your power a little bit. That's what got, like, fucking... Louis C.K. in trouble. Well, that's one of the things that got him in trouble. Dude, giving someone a five dollar <laughs> off fucking coupon and that's, jerking off in front of him are completely different. That's what, what, but I'm saying like you're using your power in an appropriate way. I'm not, but I'm not saying that. I'm saying you're just like you know, like you're you're like I said, you're working at a register or something. I used to work in a pizzeria. I remember that. Yeah. And like, but I think it's different when it's like a local business, like a pizzeria. But like when you think of like national chains, like if if like your Amazon driver like starts hitting on you. And it's like, oh man, like they're rep- and they're wearing a fucking Amazon shirt. Well, I'm not saying like being uh, inappropriate. I'm saying just like if it's if it's like a thing, Listen. you know, like if 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 you're if the person you dropped off a package to was flirty with you and you were like flirty back and like you know it was like a little flirty flirt back and forth. Yeah, I mean, that, that's there's the- a couple jobs I will say there are a couple jobs that you can't flirt with. 
customers yeah. or things like that. If like, you're like the fucking CEO of a Fortune 500 company, or if like you're like you know, it's, it's like someone's calling up to argue that they didn't get their fucking refund, and you're just like, "Wow, you sound cute." Like then you got a problem. Yeah, you gotta you know, you probably have to pay some people off as a CEO. <laughs> Definitely. But also like you know, if you're Santa Claus at the mall. Yep. Read the room. No Read one wants. Room. No one wants to hear how horny you are, Santa. Yeah. No. Or you know, uh, priest. Pre. Well. Yeah, that one. Yeah, we know. We know. We, well, that one has been. That's the other end of the spectrum. They took it too far. Right. Where they were like the God, the power, the Holy Spirit, and my fat cock, Amen. And I was like, ooh, boy. <laughs> like they went the other end of it, you know. You continue to offend. Well, you know. Um. Just, just a priest. What about what about pizza delivery? Pizza. Because that's like a like a cash job. Like when I did that, my paychecks were sixty eight dollars. Wow. That but sucks. I would make like a hundred dollars a night in cash. That's nice. Yeah, it was fucking great. Yeah. I worked three days a week. Um, I would say... See, this is really, really tough. I've never flirted with anyone. I've been flirted well, with... Well, you're, you're also not a very... Like, you don't strike me as the person that would meet someone and be, like, overly flirtatious with them. Yeah, no, I, I'd be so you're scared. A little, you're, a little, you're more of an introvert in some ways. Um, but, like... I would just be feel like... I would just feel like it's not wanted. Exactly. That's the point, is that, like, you don't know what you're doing if it's going to be reciprocated and you don't want to feel bad and be like one of those typical guys. Well, like a pizza delivery and like being at a bar are completely different things. That they are. That they are. You're literally knocking on people's doors and trying to flirt with them. Yeah, I don't think that you're allowed to flirt with people you don't know when their doors open and they're standing in between the doorway. Yes, that is correct. That's a no-no zone. I think that I think it's like when you're in the air, like what's the law like up there? You know what I mean? Like can same you laws. Get, same laws. Are you sure? You can't can't touch. Well, no. I'm of course no touchies. But I'm saying, like, like what is, like, the, you know, like, who owns that space? You know what I mean? It's the FAA. Does the FAA Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus Christ does. That's right. So you got to be careful. Not well, to no, the, F, the who? FCC? FAA. F, well, I don't know who this is. Federal Airline Association. Cool. I, yeah, I think so. I think that's what it's called. I think the land of the, the lay of the land. But wait, also... <laughs> Well, like, if you're, like, out in the sea, like, it's, like, maritime law. Like, who control? like, whose laws are you abiding by? I've heard a lot of stuff about sailors, like... Oh, they did doing, whatever they wanted. Yeah, but... No, 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 I'm saying... Yeah, well, back in the day, they would go port to port, bang and bang and bang. Bang, bang. But also, like, when they're together, they're doing a lot of, like, dick stuff. Oh, yeah. It's... That's... that's the, That was the common joke, is, like, sailors were gay. Is it? I, I've heard that joke a uh, lot. I, that I I've don't also know. heard people call me gay a lot and right. call me a sailor. Um, so that could be where that comes from as well. Feels like it's just for you. <laughs> just me. <laughs> People thought I was gay. Still yeah. do. And he's never been on a boat. I, I, well, <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. Uh, I've never had like an over, like, I've never had a homos like sexual experience. Experience. Right. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I feel like people always refer to sailors as uh, as being gay. Yeah, I don't know, but you know, which is fucked up. A lot of the, like the Navy, the fucking men and women out there, they're heroes, you know? Doesn't mean they're all gay. Yeah, but it means that they could do some gay stuff. Yeah, and it doesn't make them any less of a hero. I'm not saying that. I know, that's exactly what you're saying, Joe. That's not, I, what? We need gay heroes. Let's get to the next ads before we yeah, say we something real to, bad. Uh, have we got going on? <laughs> <laughs> how, how are we, oh, we were talking about Grinder. Grinder, yeah, yeah. Also, from. Literally all of the gay people that I know who I've had conversations with about Grinder, it's a horny place. No one's dating, bro. No one's dating We're on all Grindr. fucking each other. Yeah, it's actually kind of scary. So dude. a pilot was really trying to mile high his way into some wiener. I had good job, Joey. Just saying. Good job. Fly that plane right into a anus. Yeah. I uh, I had a friend that that would use Grinder a lot at, at a point in his life, and what he fucking told me was horrifying. He's like, oh, they want to meet on a park bench in a fucking, like, in the middle of, you know, wherever. Like, let's say, like, Manhattan. And I'm like, that's terrifying. Yeah. And it's like, well, that, that goes into a bunch of stuff. But, like, that that app, to my understanding, is aggressively used for not, like, finding love. It's for squirting love, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know that um, Matthew McConaughey's brother named... Matthew McConaughey's brother named his son Miller Lite. Incredible. And Miller Lite gave him uh, like a lifetime. Well, duh. I mean, that, uh, named his child. So that's all I have to do? Well, 
Ja. Yeah. Becca. <laughs> Come on. You got, you got a kid. We could, we could change Ruby's name right now to... Miller Light... Um, McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. I don't know how to spell that shit. But he spelled it... He spelled it Miller, how you spell Miller, and then Light with a Y. All right, kind of cool. It was very myspace of him. Yeah. But yeah, he named his son Miller Light. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Good for him. Good for him. What's Matthew McConaughey's brother's name? Not Matthew McConaughey. Lance. Something. Probably something like that. Lance McConaughey. Yeah. Uh, so something happened that I wanted to bring up on yeah. the podcast. Um, you know, we're a big video game family in my house, and Miles has gradually been getting more and more into it. Uh, and he made a drastic, big time mistake the other day. He uh, touched, chal- touched your toys. No, we we play with my toys all the time. Oh, I don't. My toy. I'm not one of those collectors that's like it stays on the shelf in a box. It doesn't come out. Like if uh, I got it sealed, it stays sealed. But like I get toys loose, so we can play with them. Okay, that's all point. Uh, but he challenged Becca to Mario Party. Mario Party. <sighs> So for Christmas, he got the new Mario Party, which is, I think it's called Mario Party Superstars. It's a collection of Mario Party minigames from the first Mario Party until like the most recent one that you had. Yeah. And he challenged her to it and she whooped his fucking ass. Did she? (laughs) No remorse. This kid's got to learn, man. It's so funny because like we were playing and Miles is at a point where like when we'll play around, it'll be like. Like, we play this game on the trampoline where we'll throw a ball on the other side of the trampoline and we'll, like, look at it and then we'll both go for it and I'll, like, pull him down and throw him back and then I'll go for it and he'll grab my feet, like, to, to like, it's like a chase for it. And he does, you know, he's at a point where he needs to win all the time. So mm-hmm. he'll, like, tell me, he'll be like, freeze. And we've played Mario Party before and he's like, uh, Mario Kart. And he's like, can you give me a, you know, 60 second head start? 60? Yeah, he asked for him. What the hell? He this kid for, wants the world. He wants the world uh, handed to him on a silver platter. 60 seconds? The game's over. Well, guess what? His mom just smacked that silver platter right out of his <laughs> fucking head. Bro, she the whole time was playing, and like she, he was like sitting next to her cuddled up. She called me pussy. No, Fuck. no, no. She, I know. She was so like... She was like, what, I don't, I, 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 and I'm like, watch the practice, play the game. And he's like explaining to her, and he's talking shit. Is he? He's like... I'm gonna. I'm. I'm just saying. You know, I'm really good. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. And like the first like mini game, she like accidentally won. But then after that, I like. I think she turned it on a little bit. She's like, oh, how do I do this? Yeah, fucking hustle. There was one game where you like spin and like shoot rockets at each other, and she killed him instantly. Oh. And um, as as the turns were going on and on and on, he was getting more upset with her. So he like stopped sitting next to her and sat by me. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. And I'm looking at Becca and her and I are trying not to die laughing because he's getting so angry. And then it came down to it and he got two stars. For those of you guys who don't know or play Mario Party, you're, you, you're ranked based off of the amount of stars you get. But the games have bonus stars. So like the people that traveled the most, collected the most coins. Won the most games. Won the most games. Shit like that. You get bonus stars. And Miles and Becca ended the game with two stars each. And then she got like two bonus stars. <laughs> And he was like, I hope I win. I hope I win. Wait, because he didn't do the math? <laughs> he didn't do the math. So he didn't know. He, didn't he know. lost. Bro. <laughs> he, I hope I win. You did he, it. He didn't, and then it said that she won. He was pissed. Did he freak out? He put the game down, stormed off, went in his room, was like, I'm, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Becca and I were crying laughing. We felt bad, but like at the same time, she was like, has he ever been like this? And I was like, oh, he's never really lost. I've beaten him a couple times in Mario Kart, but like Mario Party, bro, it ripped this kid's heart right out Dude, of his Dude, that chest. game drives me fucking insane sometimes. It is, some of it is so up to luck. Yeah. If you ever find your Switch, we can get the new one. We can play online together. It oh. is fucking like it really ruined their night because he was mad at her for like hours. Dude. I had so I had that game obviously for Switch in my old apartment, and me and Danny would play it every day. Yeah, we would play a game. This kid went on like a five day winning streak, and by the third day, I was like, I wanted to throw my controller at him <laughs> because he would just 
he's relentless. Mm-hmm. So five days in a row. So I can only imagine for a shot. I would have lost my mind, <laughs> bro. I and like I said to him. So like we went upstairs, and she was like, "Can you tell him like he needs to be a good sport?" And so I was like, "Bud." You just need to get better. You just need to, <laughs> you just need to figure it out. It's called practice, Junior. I, told, <laughs> I was like, I, I said to her, I was like, I was like, Miles, you need to put your head down and get better. And she's like, don't tell him to put his head down. <laughs> and I was like, you got to be a good sport, though, too. I was like, dust it off, say congrats, and get better so this doesn't happen again. He was, and he's like, you guys were laughing at me. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. I felt so bad. It's like, there's no 60 second head starts in life. Bro. He was really like torn up, and it fucking like got to him really bad. Bro, I used to cry all the time playing video games, my bro. Brothers. Well, that's what I used to do, bro. There was one time we were playing Mario Odyssey, and we he went up against a boss, and I was like, "Bud, if you sit and do it, I know you can do it." And he like broke down crying, and he's like, "I can't." Fire! And I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I took it and I did it, and I, afterward I was like, "Bud, what's wrong?" He's like, "It was so much pressure," and I was like, "Was that for me?" <laughs> I felt so bad. And Becca, I was like, did I do something wrong? And she's like, no. Like, you, you tried to encourage him. I was like, and she said to me, she's like, Miles, if this is what video games is going to be, you're not going to be able to play. I was like, Miles, don't cry again. <laughs> <laughs> we need to play video games, bud. <laughs> there was, I remember Metal Gear Solid, the original one. There's one part where he's hooked up to the electric machine. Mm-hmm. And then, like, you have to keep ta- ta- uh, tapping triangle to make sure your health doesn't go away. And I was too young to be able to do it too fast. So I like was just physically unable mm-hmm. to pass this thing. And I tried for days. And then I, I had to have my brother Thomas do it. Yeah, that shit is and tough. I, it would like destroy me. I would go to night, I'd bed at night and just like, I need to tap quicker. Bro, there, I, I can't express the rage that I feel playing video games, but I love them so much. So like when it comes to like playing other people, bro, how many times have we played like Call of Duty online? And because you're losing, you're like, yo, I want to, like, I want to murder people. You know, it's actually funny. Someone, I forgot who it was, but I've been known to rage quit. Yes, yes, you have. So <laughs> it'll be like, yo, we'll be playing, and then it'll be like, you signed off, and we're like, oh, he's, he's gone. You just hear, what the fuck? <laughs> and then I'm out. And then, whoop. Yeah. And you see, like, the fucking <laughs> Joe Santagato left the game. Yo, because I get so fucking mad, especially with Call of Duty, which the, I, I just started playing. In I haven't world. played Call... I've, I haven't... I don't want to turn my consoles into just Call of Duty machines because those fucking Warzone gigabyte storage is insane. But we know the worst person at, with this... With the raging Keith? on video games is Keith. Yeah, yeah. Like, guys, if you've ever seen those videos... Remember that video years ago? It was, like, the German kid playing and he, like, smashes his keyboard... Yeah. I swear to God, if that wasn't Keith, I would be shocked because he loses his shit. But also he does it, and this is why I love it, is because he does it like tactic, like during like the tactics of the game. And then afterward, he's just like, yeah. Like we'll be playing like capture the flag. You need a fucking push! Push! Fucking push! And then afterward, he's like, oh, that was a tough game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> But my, I, I have a feeling Miles is going to be like that because he got real upset when he lost. Bro, getting upset and, like, breaking your controllers is, like, just part of it. You I, know mean, what I mean, hey, man, you know. Uh, I've you, definitely, you know what I've done? Slapped myself in the face. Oh, I've done that. I've done the, like. Or slapped the back of my head. I've slapped my head. I, I remember once in college, I broke an umbrella. I, like, put the controller down, stood up, grabbed an umbrella, and smashed it on the floor <laughs> as many times as I could. Why do we do... Sometimes I used to... You know what I used to do a lot? Is I would get so mad playing whatever and then just put the controller down and turn around and scream as loud as I could into my pillow. <laughs> just like a fucking like upset wife. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh my God. Like, no, I, I do the... I grab the controller very hard. I've done that too. And, and like, it sounds like it's going to burst. I, I swear to God, in that moment, I'm the strongest person on the planet. Yeah. Nothing or powers I just, me more than I just rage. grip my teeth and it like... I feel like at any any like... An ounce of more pressure would make them explode out of my mouth. Yep, my I, I completely, completely agree. I, but then if you ask me afterward, I love video games. I'll never stop. No, I can't. I can't. It's just too fun. I go through phases, especially now the winter. I'm not going outside. Oh, I'm going outside, especially COVID coming back around. Uh oh, demonetize. Oh, uh, we're dead. Um, just staying. Yeah, you know, do it again. Remember at the beginning of 2020, I was, I, I said to our friends, I was like, 2020 is year. Everyone stays in and plays video games more. 
boy, did <laughs> I know something. Yeah, you were you were correct on that. I was. I, I was. think I did play a lot of video games back in the Well, probably because you were just stuck inside. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, I played a lot of uh, Mario Kart too in the beginning. We did. We would have drunk Mario Kart nights. I remember that. Me, you, Gabe, Espo, mm -hmm. and Espo would be the one. Espo's a bad loser too. Yeah, I mean, he's Espo's sore. a very bad loser. I uh, <laughs> to not, I not, guess my, not night. my night. <laughs> not my night. I guess. I guess it's not. And it's funny because we're just like, you suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we we fuck with him to the point where like he wants to like lose his shit, but he yeah. keeps it together. Where he's just like, that was really good. That was a really good move of you. Yeah. Really good move. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. I guess I didn't see it. <laughs> it's like, all right, buddy, take it easy. Glad we're back. Yeah. Um, where can they Where can they find you, Frank? We could just wrap up here. Find me uh, on uh, Mario Party. Get on it. I'll beat you in it. Probably yeah. won't. No. F Alvarez eight zero eight five on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram. And uh, go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. You get weekly episodes a week in advance. If you're at that first tier, if you're at that second tier, every single Friday morning you get exclusive episodes that are, quite frankly, just fucking balls to the walls. Uh, they've been kind of all over the place lately. Like Joey said, we talked about selling our you know pee pee picks. We've talked about. <laughs> You know, like just all over the place. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. And listen, holiday season is over, but you can always give the gift to the Patreon. Give it to somebody else. Give them a year. It's worth it, baby. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Yep. And you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato on uh, everything. And go follow the show at the basement yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. <laughs>